Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching this video if you're watching it this far. I'm going to be doing the Fenty Beauty Review. Woo! But I went to a Sephora the other day. This definitely was not sent to me, but I got three main products and that is the foundation, which I'm going to show you now. How it looks. Now I definitely, definitely, definitely love the packaging and how it looks this is it and I got it in the color the pro filter number 470 and then I got the Fenty Beauty trophy wife it's the kilowatt freestyle highlighter and this is what that looks like okay and just a sneak peek for you guys uh -oh. Okay, let me tell y'all. And then I got the lip gloss, and the lip gloss is the, well, it's glass bomb, and it is the Fenty Glow, and this is what that looks like. Okay, this is so cute, so sleek. Of course, we redid it, so what y'all thought? So I've already prepped and primed my face, so what I'm going to do is put it all over and show you guys just what that looks like. On me now I'm going to add a little bit at first and see how that might look okay clean and wet beauty sponge this <laughs> it sounds like I'm beating up my face y'all like <laughs> this is not cute I think I will need a little bit more but so far, if you haven't noticed, that it's, like, pretty much my color. I, I got the girl at Sephora to definitely help me out with picking out the best color that would, you know, go with me. I definitely have acne, scars, and marks all over my face. So, I wanted something that, you know, matches my neck, if anything. But, so this is, like, the first basic layer of the foundation. And I'm just going to keep building it up until I get to my desired so, so, if anything, I would not consider this like the first one because I only put a little bit, but let's try it again. Alright y'all, so that was basically like my second layer. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more to my dark spots and see if that covers it pretty well. And if so, that's going to be my, my last thing of like applying. So let me try it again with just some of my dark spots like here and like here and here, here. And see how that looks like because I personally like, you know, to have everything covered. I like to color correct and all that stuff. But because I really want to see how well this foundation is able to be... Um, full coverage or total coverage, I guess. I'm going to add a little bit more. Alright, guys, so I pretty much built it up on my face and was able to get like a pretty good coverage. Um, and this is without color correcting, this is no foundation. I mean, foundation. No concealer, anything. This is just the foundation and the base of my face. And I'm not going to lie, I really do like it. And the reason I like it, I'm going to tell you, is because it's so lightweight. Like, I really don't feel like I'm caked up on my face. It doesn't feel like there's so much going on. I like the idea that the color, um, I have really oily skin. And I feel like um, my skin oxidizes anyways. That's, that's what I've been told. that Because it, it gets a little darker. And with the Fenty um, foundation, you know, with time and like letting it breathe it's able to kind of absorb and it oxidizes but in a way where it kind of matches your skin tone really really well so I don't know if you guys can tell that I can from where I'm sitting but I really like that look I like the like the fact that it's very lightweight um the color is very on point it definitely matches for sure it's definitely something that I know I can build up as well I wouldn't say just like I would say start off little and find out, you know, what's your, your base. Now that I know how many layers I need, I know how much to put on my face to really start with. But, yeah, I really definitely like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go finish off my face um, so that I can be able to show you guys the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Highlighter and the Lip Gloss. 
Alright y'all, so I pretty much finished off my face and what I left last is the um, highlighter and the lip gloss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how they both look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the um, highlighter first. And the highlighter of course is the Trophy Wife Killer White Classic, wait, Freestyle Highlighter. So I'm going to take my fan brush. We're going to go in with this bad boy. Let's see how it looks. Y'all see that? <laughs> Let me add a little more. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> Riri know what's up. Let me tell y'all. Bam. Let me tell y'all. I'm shining. What? What? Miss Ami Boy. Mm. Bow. Wow. Sorry, y'all. I'm just being extra. I'm acting like I ain't never had it on before, but. Every time I put it on, I feel like, whew. Of course, if you know me, which y'all probably don't know me, I like to blend out my highlighter. <laughs> so I'm going to do some, just, you know, brush this a little bit so it can spread and look a little bit more seamless. Riri was saying, you know what, I'm going to have these girls shining. And she was not playing no games. Because if y'all can see, I am just gleaming right now. Come on. Ooh, let me tell you, hold on, let me add a little bit more, because I feel like, I feel like I need this to be, like, I want to be extra right now, but, you know what I'm saying, whoa, oh my gosh, yes, you know what I'm saying, yes, yes, let's add a little bit more blending, Alright, so now that we got that all fit, ooh, let me add a little bit in my <laughs> technical difficulties, y'all. Got it. <laughs> Don't mind my sick self, y'all. I'm out of whack right now, but I'm going to add a little bit. Wait, I don't want to use this brush. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use, no, this brush. Alright, put a little bit in my tear duct here. Okay, Riri. Come through with the killer bot. Highlighter. Alright, y'all. So that's basically the highlighter. I went in. And if y'all can see that, it's popping, right? Yeah, I know. It's popping. And I'm feeling really cute. But we're not finished just yet. We got the, the glass bomb here that's popping. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this on. Now, I'm definitely a lip gloss girl, so let's see how this looks. Okay, for one, this smells amazing. I'm going to tell y'all, it smells really, really good. I can't really pinpoint the smell. It just, it doesn't smell fruity, but it smells like tropical. Mmm. Very light feel. It's not... It's not sticky. It's not like a sticky feel to it. It's just more like, mm. I'm not being extra on purpose, y'all. This is really just me being really excited. Now, let me see how this looks like. Do you like that? Hold on. Let me line my lips real quick. I'll get back to y'all real quick. Hold up. All right, y'all. So, I'm, I lined my lips a little bit. Not too much because I really want the highlighter to de I mean, pff, the lip gloss to definitely the gla glass bomb to be on point and I really want it to be the focus. But I really, really like it and I like it because when it comes to lip gloss, I have a problem because my lips are kind of dark and I feel like they come out. Lip glosses don't really come out as pretty on me and I, like I don't want to sound weird, but I just don't like how the pigmentation in my lips comes out with some certain lip glosses, like some colors look better than others like pink doesn't really go that well sometimes whatever but with this lip gloss it's definitely not it's not pink it's it's kind of glittery shimmery like I don't really know how to explain it you know too much but I feel like it's very it's a very nice color I feel like it definitely works with dark toned skin and let me tell y'all the beauty products that I've gotten from Sephora um with the Fenty Beauty line have all been super amazing I really love 
all these products, um, the foundation, the gas bomb, and the kilowatt highlighter. Um, they were packaged very well. Everything smells great. Everything comes out very, um, how do you explain that? Very easy, you know what I'm saying? So, let's just say, for me being a dark skinned girl and having really bad acne scars and such, I feel like... Rihanna's products worked really well. I'm going to wear this throughout the day, see how I like it, you know, because I've worn it at night for a couple of hours, but I haven't, I have yet to really just wear it all day. So, if anything, so far with just being here and really showing you guys, I love it. I feel like it's very lightweight. I don't feel like I'm caked on right now. Um, yeah, so, if anything, I give Riri her hands up because she kills it. And, I mean, I didn't think that she wouldn't. Alright y'all, thank you for watching my video of the Fenty Beauty review. I'm sorry that my sixth self sounded a mess throughout this video, but if you like this look, yes, with my sniffle in behind, <laughs> I'm a hot mess y'all. So if you really like this video, please continue to support me and watch my other videos and give this a thumbs up. Comment down below how you personally liked the Fenty Beauty line and if you got other products please let me know how you like it so i can see if i can go and purchase it myself and try it out too for you guys so if anything thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye